this time 10 days ago there were 8,000 people here, another 9,000 have arrived and there are still more trickling in. <laughs> There are people who are arriving today who have absolutely nothing. They've walked for three days, they have no shelter, they have uh, no food with them, they can maybe get some water from one of the tap stands, but they may not even have a bucket to go and do that. They may not have a container to collect it in or to keep it clean. The situation is getting worse. It's deteriorating on both sides of the border, and the humanitarian situation as a direct consequence of that is a total disaster. We're on our way from Gosbeda to little village called Gassiday, where there are something in the order of 16 and a half thousand uh, internally displaced people uh, from various parts of eastern Chad. Um, we're, we're there because there's uh, because it's such a huge population requires a huge amount of water. The local water supplies which were four traditional uh, open wells have been pretty much exhausted. We're just coming into Gassido now. You can see on the right hand side some of the dwellings. We have installed a, um, a 40 metre bore over here, which we now have installed a small pump in that bore as a temporary measure to supply water to the to the bladders which are on the platform behind us. We did try drilling a bore about 50 metres to, the, to my left, uh, which was dry, which goes to show how difficult it is to find water in this location. 100 metres apart, two wells, one providing water at about uh, two metres per second, and the other completely dry. We have a tiny generator here, which the poor little thing's been working really hard for two weeks. Uh, it occasionally cuts out because it's not made for this work. We're just using it as a temporary measure to get water as quickly as we can and as regularly as we can to the people. We were concerned because this generator had problems yesterday. We were concerned that when we arrived here the generator would have problems again and there was no water. But when we drove up we were delighted to see the bladders were, were quite full and uh, which meant that Mohammed was doing his job, the generator was doing its job and we had, had a bit of luck today.